Hey, I'm Alex Green from the NC Nature News, and uh, so my python, my ball python, Sunny, is currently very deep in the shed, meaning that um, his eyes are very foggy, his skin is uh, very dull, and is going to come off any day now. Um, so I'm guessing that I'll have it off within the next 24 hours, probably. I have my humidifier on here uh, at about 50% uh, to bring the humidity up to help him loosen his shed. Today's his feeding day though, um, so I want to see if that affects the way he feeds at all to see how this goes. Uh, so I'm guessing that because he's a python, um, so he has uh, heat sensing pits right here. Um, and that uh, heat goes into those pits and he's able to sense different things like prey or predator. So I really don't think it'll affect him too much, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, so right here is the rat it is thawing out. I feed him small rats now. He is, right now, uh, he's 410 grams and 80 centimeters, which is about two, two feet eight inches, I think. Um, so he's been growing a lot, so he needs bigger um, foods. So just say no, this is probably obvious, but uh, it will be showing a deceased rat. Um, there's not usually too much blood, if any, at all. Uh, but I doubt you'll see any, but if you're a snake owner, then you should be used to this. So, once this is thawed out, we'll go ahead and feed them.
basic hair video for frogs and toads. Uh, specifically, I'm setting this up for my true American toads. Uh, this is a recommended video by somebody.